Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Lufia! Since last time, speaking of Lufia, I uh, walked back to track off screen and learned the Dew spell for her at level 5. Water elemental spell targets a group of enemies, so that's pretty nice. I recommend learning it on the way back here. Let's see if we can find a way to steal, I, I mean, find a ship that can take us to Lurbania. Right, yeah, if you didn't get the information from the girl back there, well, I guess he'll tell you pretty much the same thing. So, yeah, we gotta find a way to uh, get over there. Oh, really? Oh, okay, yeah, let's head on over there then. It's nice to know that we actually have some competent soldiers around here for a change. Can we borrow your ship? No, no, I guess not. Well, let's talk to these guys. Okay, let's go. Well, it's nice to know that we actually have reinforcements for a change. It's like bad guys attack, and then it's like, oh, uh, no one around here is remotely competent. Uh, we can't do anything. All right. Oh, I was going to say, uh, I thought he said Alekia, not Sharan. I was like, wait a minute. No, nah, no. Nah. Yeah, they invaded Sharan and uh, pretty much destroyed the whole thing. Well, yeah, I was kind of there. Someone was asking me, H.C. Bailey, why did they bother putting it in at Sharan when the whole town is destroyed? Well, they got me to use it, didn't they? I mean, you know, it's kind of halfway between Trek and Alekia, so... Uh-oh, danger music! That's... They destroyed our ship! Oh no! Monsters! Let's take him down! With our new party member, Aguro! He's basically like Guy from the intro. He has no spells, but he's just pure melee, and he's really awesome at that. So, let's get him, guys. So basically, you want to use the do spell against these guys to try and whittle them down a little bit. So it deals uh, some pretty good damage there. Uh, let's see. I, I would like to be able to get another do spell in there. Uh, yeah, they use Mirror on themselves. So, um, let's see. Maybe if I get strong on Lufia... I can still get do on at least three of them. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. Okay. Because, so, yeah, one of them's going to reflect back at me, but I'm still hitting three of them with a do spell. Holy crap, they got a do spell of their own. This is actually a pretty hard boss fight, one of the harder ones in the game, because I haven't level grinded at all, really. So, just got to do what we can and hopefully take one of them down. The other thing that makes this battle really hard is because there's so many of them, it's hard to focus on one enemy at a time to take one down, you know? Because you're just randomly targeting these guys, right? So, oh, I hope I get those healing spells in on time. The other problem is that, come on, uh, Guro has very, very bad magic defense. So, uh, let's see, heal yourself there. I'm basically having Adol and Lufia heal uh, full time until we can get something else going here. Because right now, unt or until we can take one of these guys down. Uh, so just keep on going with potions there. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, any healing spells for Lufia yet. But soon enough, viewers, soon enough. Man, these guys got mirrors all up the ass. See, maybe. Oh wait, they got me. I was gonna say cast, me, cast um, a spell. But uh, no. That, why did I have eight all attack? He should be healing full time. Uh, I suppose that's a good thing. Kind of like that one time. What was it in the Dragon Warrior LP when I meant to run from an enemy and I was getting my ass kicked and uh, uh whatever happened. Eh, maybe I should have had eight all attack. Eh, whatever. But yeah, I meant to run from the enemy and then I accidentally attacked and got a critical hit or something, so it's like, oh, well, okay, I guess that works out. Yeah, Lufia's attack, not so hot there. Maybe you should defend. The interesting thing about defend, I'm not 100% sure how this works, but when you defend, it seems like you get your next turn a little faster. I'm not entirely sure about that, but all right. Ooh, we got another level for Lufia. We're doing pretty good. And Aguro gained another level. All right. He's got the green hair going for him. Kind of cool. Nice. Yeah, I even killed those guys left-handed. It's the only way I can be satisfied. Fight with my right over too quickly. All right. Oh, well, yeah, it's kind of my job. It's in the blood. It's genetic memory, mostly. I seek the grail. I mean, uh, destroy the Sinistrals. Yeah. 
yeah, you kind of wasted your whole time coming over here, but, uh... All right, let's go! No problemo. Oh. Yeah. What, you didn't notice that? They, you know, destroy it with lightning bolts and you don't notice something like that? Well, sure, why not? All right. So, yeah, Guro is our third permanent party member. Uh, let's... Oh, not item sort. Uh, combat order. I don't know if this really matters, but I like putting a Guru in the second spot. Keep uh, Lufia in the back there. Uh, let's see. The other thing was... Oh, yeah, we got these great potions. I like using them on a Guru because... Uh, nuts. All right, that's a little better. Come on, three. Oh, okay, I got five out of them. If you want to reset every time you use it, you can get up to three strength per great potion. But anyway, I like using them on a Guru because he has no spells to use. So, you know, you might as well just give them to him. And, uh, but I'm going to save the speed potions for later. Soon enough, viewers. Oh, no! That's... Well, maybe he's off getting drunk at the bar! Yeah, he actually is. So, uh, let's head on over there, then. Uh, let's see, we want to get some new equipment for a Guru there. So, let's head on over here. Alright, I already know what I'm looking for. I want to get a Claw Town for uh, a Guru because apparently they sent him in the army without any headgear. So, there we go. Oh, two extra defense. Better than a sharp stick in the eye. You also like to uh, rest up at the end here? Sure, why not? Like I was saying in the last episode, why does all in music sound the same from one game to another, you know? It's like underwater music. It always sounds the same. I don't get it. But, uh, well, anyway, uh, yeah, the captain's right over here, so, uh, hey, can we borrow your ship? Oh, I'm sorry, uh, wrong guy, I guess. Guy dresses up like a bat, clearly has issues. Oh, well, there we go. Huh. Well, okay. Well, I guess we gotta go through a cave to get over there to take their ship without their permission. I mean, they, they won't mind. Uh, the monsters took it anyway, so. Well, okay, let's head on over there, then. Well, let's hug the coast and see if we can find that ship. Let the water know you care. Well, there's the ship. Ooh, and we got another new enemy here. Kobolds! I'm trying to think of a Magic the Gathering reference I could make. But anyway, they're pretty easy. We can one-shot them. Man, a girl's amazing! Alright! Ooh, and the nice thing about Kobolds is that they can drop a mid-arrow for you. It's very nice at this point in the game. Save them absolutely save them for the next boss. I don't know, I wonder what that circle is there. Remember that for later, viewers. There's some steps up there, too. Remember those for later, too, viewers. You don't have to take notes. I mean, I got my walkthrough for those who care, but we just pass them up for now. The stairs there, they'll just take you to the end, but... All right, and after that battle, I learned a new spell for Adol, the float spell. Now we can make them all float. It basically does the same thing as in Final Fantasy IV, pretty much. So, let's see what we got here. A potion. And a power potion. All right. I want to use a power potion on Luvia because she has the least max HP. Usually, that's who I want to use my power potions on. Whoever has the least HP, use it on them. Uh, I, I, unlike the other potions, I don't necessarily like to stockpile them on one character. So, that's where I stand on that. One thing you should also do while you're here is gain another level for Lufia. Get her up to level 7, because... Let's take this teleporter pad here. Because uh, when she reaches level 7, she'll learn the strong spell. And it is amazing having two healers, or magic healers, like that around. So I strongly recommend uh, learning the strong spell for her. Get it at level 7, and it'll really help in the next boss fight, because it will kill you if you don't have that. Um, I shouldn't have to level grind for it, but if for some reason you don't have it by then, well, grind for it, absolutely. We want to head over here to uh, rest up a little bit. Speaking of resting up, uh, a lot of people are asking me, H.C. Bailey, are you planning on making an LP for Lufia 2? And, well, if you didn't see the announcement, I'm going to be doing that after my next main LP. Um, I decided to do that instead of Final Fantasy Tactics, although that will be next after that. But I want to do Lufia 2 first because, you know, 
one thing I noticed from making the LPs for Final Fantasy VIII, Final Fantasy IX, and uh, Chrono Cross, they're all consecutively like that. Not in that order, but you know what I mean. Uh, just making LPs for such big games constantly like that, yeah, it kind of wears you down a little bit, you know? So I figured, you know, if I you know do a big project, then a small project, I can learn the strong spell. Awesome. Nah. If you do a big project and a small project alternating like that, it would help me out a little bit. So that's what I'm probably going to be doing in the future there. Alright, so yeah, that teleporter pad just takes you right back to the entrance with more monsters! And a do spell. Why don't you go after the giant bats too, girl? I thought you were slower than Lufia. I'm disappointed. Nice. Well, this went about as badly as I, it possibly could for me. Oh, well. But yeah, if I didn't say so before, they're weak to water, so that's why I like the dew spell. I like the mid-arrows even better, and I want to use them to hopefully find the Mabaria and take it back for the monsters. Next time, let's play Lufia! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!